Hello, and welcome to Getting Into the Learning Zone audio. This audio is designed to help you to learn at a quicker rate. How's it going to do that? Well, basically, it's made up of two audios. The first audio is going to show you practically how to do it. What you have to do to get yourself into a great place so that you can focus on what you're doing and really learn. The second one is more like a guided meditation where you just sit and relax and I will offer some very, very positive and upbuilding suggestions for you about learning. So in the first one, you'll be asked to do something. In the second one, you won't need to do anything except relax. So that's nice. Both of them are designed to allow you to get into a great place when you are about to learn. You see, what happens in life is that we have many distractions. Lots of things are going on in our minds. So quite often, when we come to focus and study on a subject, and if that subject happens to be Spanish, as in your case, if we have a lot of things going on in our minds, we can't always concentrate correctly, or we end up focusing on other things. We have that kind of scatterbrain approach. When you're learning, the place that you need to be in is a place of of calm mental attitude. So if there are lots and lots of things going on in your mind, if you have a lot of internal chatter, lots of voices going on, and we all do have internal chatter, of course we do. But if that is louder than the subject that you're learning, then what you find is that it's very difficult to learn. And so that's the point of this. This is just to help you to get into a great place. If already you were able to focus very, very well and learn at a great rate, then perhaps you don't need this. But there are lots of people who do. There are lots of people who struggle to kind of get that quiet focus that you need. So one thing I'll say, and I'll say this on each of the audios, is these audios are only to be used when you are in a safe and relaxed environment. You mustn't use them when you are using any machinery, if you're driving a car, if you're doing anything that demands your concentration. Please do not use these audios. Okay, so we'll see each other in the next audio. Welcome to our audio, Getting Into The Learning Zone. Okay, so now we're going to work on the practical side of how you can get into the learning zone. What is the learning zone? The learning zone is a place where your mental activity, the usual conscious mind mental activity, slows down. And where you can really have a gentle focus on what you're doing without having all of that normal chatter that we have in our brains sometimes in day-to-day life. So how we do this is learning how we can expand our awareness, basically. And to learn how to expand your awareness, the very first thing that you must do is learn how to focus your awareness. You see, there are times when you need to focus, absolutely focus. And there are times when you don't need to. You see, many people think that when you study, you must focus, focus, focus. Well, really, focusing is only needed for those very special moments in which perhaps a great demand is placed on us. But when we're learning and when you are learning, all you need to do is to expand your focus. So how do we do that? Well, the very first thing that I'd like you to do is just as you're listening to this, if you can, I'd like you to be seated and I'd like you to be in a comfortable place where you're not going to be disturbed for a while, perhaps 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Now, once you find yourself comfortable, and if you're not comfortable yet, just stop this audio and then find yourself comfortable and then start it again. Okay. Before we begin... Please ensure that you're not doing this when you are managing anything that needs your attention, whether that be driving a car, using heavy machinery or anything. This has to be done when you have time and the ability to focus just on this. Okay, so sitting comfortably, 
What I'd like you to do, first of all, is just take a couple of nice deep breaths. Fill up your lungs, hold the breath, and then let it out. And again, fill up your lungs, hold your breath a little, and then exhale. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to show you how you focus. And we all do it. We just don't do it consciously. So, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to find a spot, something that you can focus on that is above eye line. So, as you're sitting, you're looking slightly up. You've got your head tilted up and backwards, yeah? Not too far so that it's uncomfortable, but something above the normal eye line. Find something that you can focus on. It could be a mark, it could be a bump, it could be anything. And I'd like you to absolutely focus on that point so that everything else really disappears from your awareness and all you were doing is absolutely focusing on that one point. That's it. Now, this is called focused awareness. And perhaps you can notice as you focus on that one point that really everything else around you is just of no consequence. You're not really aware. You become tunnel-visioned. Now, this is not the focus that we want when we're learning. It is good when you need to concentrate, when you need to do something very specific. But this focus, as you were focusing on that one spot, is not the ideal focus for learning. Why? Because when you were focused like this, and I'd like you to keep focusing, I want you to notice something. I want you to notice how you breathe when you focus so intently on one thing. I want you to notice if you breathe. Quite often we stop breathing when we're so focused. Or quite often our breathing becomes very shallow, very high in the chest. And certainly we're not aware of everything around us. Okay. So just stop focusing for a moment. So this is the point that we're going to use as a starting point to show you how you can then defocus. What is the point of defocusing or having a very gentle focus? Well, what happens is this. When you allow your mind to defocus, then your brainwave patterns begin to slow. So the speed in which your brain is giving off energy waves or the speed that your brain is functioning dramatically slows down. What's important about that? Why should you need a slower brainwave activity? Well, what they've found is this, that when we are in states of slower brain activity, now that's not sleep, but that's somewhere in between waking consciousness and sleep. And they have many names for it, um, and there's a lot of science about it, but that's not why we're here. When you have that slow brainwave pattern, that's when they've found that we learn at our best. Why? Because learning is not conscious. Learning is unconscious. When you are awake and you are consciously aware, well, that's your conscious mind working and that's great. But when you want to learn, you need the help of your unconscious mind. Because it's your unconscious mind that actually helps you to be a fantastic Spanish speaker. And it's your unconscious mind that is going to help you to speak Spanish and to learn Spanish at a fantastic rate. So, let's learn how to defocus. To do that, let's focus again. Find that same spot. And I'd like you to place all of your attention on that one spot. Become tunnel visioned. Only see that one spot. And then... What I'd like you to do is, as you're looking at that one spot, begin to allow your eyes just to soften. Allow the focus to soften. Now, that's not to make it blurry. Just allow it to soften and allow your awareness to begin to move out toward the sides. Allow your awareness to begin to expand. And so it moves further and further round the room until it's exactly 
to either side of your eyes so that you're kind of seeing everything that's in front of you and just allow that to happen that expansion just let it happen slowly so that you begin to take in everything around you and as you do that I'd like you to pay special attention to how you're breathing now notice that perhaps your breathing has slowed down you might notice that it's actually just a little bit more deep more profound and just allow that to happen and then bring your focus back onto the point narrow your focus back down and look back at that point just focusing on that one point again and as you do that notice the difference again notice how it feels notice how your breathing changes how it becomes shorter higher up in the chest perhaps and then once again just begin to allow your awareness allow your vision to widen to expand so that you begin to take in everything in the room so you're not focusing on anything but you're aware of everything that's there and as you do that just allow your breathing to slow allow yourself to begin to ease and just think of the word inside soften where everything becomes softened everything becomes easy that's it now it's in this place this place of absolute relaxation an absolute calm focus that you are going to make your best learning this is where you're going to experience the best learning that you can experience because your brain has slowed down now that might seem strange that you can learn better when your brain is slowing down but it's just because you're allowing your unconscious mind to have access to the information now in a moment i'm going to ask you to bring your attention back onto that spot again do that now so focus on the spot that's it focus to the exclusion of everything else really focus notice what happens with your breathing notice how you feel there's sometimes a more of a tension in the body as you focus so intently now in a moment i'm going to ask you to do exactly the same you're going to allow your focus to widen expand you're going to allow your breathing to slow down and this time not only are you going to allow your focus to move out to the sides but i'd like you to allow it to move up above you and way down below you so that you become aware of everything around you now do that now slowly allow your focus to spread out to expand moving up also so that you're taking in everything above you everything below you and everything out to the sides focused on nothing and aware of everything and as you do that allow your breathing to slow down and just notice the feeling of general relaxation that comes into the body notice how calm you feel you see in this place in this place of softened awareness softened focus this often comes with a very calm feeling a very very calm feeling and this is where you are going to learn fabulously well okay now in a moment i'm going to ask you to come back and focus on that point again 
We're going to do the same again because what we're doing is we're teaching your mind how it's going to do this in the future and your mind is going to do this for you. But I'm going to give you a little tip. I'm going to show you how you can make it happen quickly and instantly whenever you need, whenever you want to have this focus in study. So, I'd like you to focus on that point again to the exclusion of everything else. That's it. Notice the changes in your body. Notice the change in your breathing. Notice the change in the tonality of your muscles. And notice what happens in your mind as well. Things speed up, don't they, when you focus so intently on something. Now this time, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to do exactly the same as we've done, allowing your focus to expand. And when we get to the real point where you're fully expanded, fully in this learning zone, I'm going to ask you to press your forefinger and your thumb together. On one hand, perhaps on the left hand if you're right-handed, or perhaps on the right hand if you're left-handed. I'd like you to press your thumb and your forefinger together nicely, firmly. And this is what's called an anchor. And this is going to anchor this feeling. It's going to anchor this physiology and this mentality. So that when you want to enter into that state, all you're going to do is press your fingers together and you'll find yourself automatically entering into this learning zone. Now, allow your focus to begin to expand out, gently widening, taking everything in on either side of you, taking everything in above you and everything in below you. That's it. And then just allow your breathing to slow down. Allow the muscles to soften in your body. And allow your mind to quieten down. And just enjoy the feeling now. And as you enjoy that feeling, as you enjoy this learning zone, I would like you now just to press your thumb and your finger together. And just enjoy this feeling of absolute calm and peacefulness as you press that finger and thumb together, linking in this feeling with that movement so that every time that you do this in the future, you'll find yourself automatically entering into this very, very nice place of speed learning, learning at a tremendously deep level. Okay, you can open your fingers now and bring your focus back to the point. And as you focus on that one point of the exclusion of everything else, what I'm going to ask you to do one more time is allow you awareness to expand. And when you get to the point where you're aware of everything above you, below you and to the sides, and you've allowed your breathing to slow down, and your mind has calmed down, I'm going to ask you to squeeze your fingers together once more. Are you ready? Begin to allow your awareness to expand out to the sides. That's it. All the way above you and all the way below you. That's right. And notice what happens to your breathing. And notice that feeling of relaxation in your body. And perhaps you can notice how quiet your mind becomes. And when you're experiencing all of that now, just squeeze your fingers together and anchor that in. This is a physiological anchor. And it anchors this state, this feeling. So in the future, when you press your thumb and finger together, expecting to have this particular experience, that's exactly what your body and your mind will give you. Okay. You can open your fingers now. 
and then bring your attention back to the spot, focusing just on that. But this time, what I'm going to ask you to do, I'm not going to guide you through it. All I'm going to ask you to do in a moment is just as you've been doing the last two times, I'm going to ask you to press your fingers together and then just allow yourself to go into that state. And you'll find that if you give yourself permission, that will happen automatically. So off we go. Press your fingers together. And just notice what happens. Notice what happens to your awareness. Notice what happens to your breathing. Notice what happens to the tension in your body. And notice how quiet your mind becomes as your body relaxes. Now this is the place that you can be in when you're learning. When you're watching something, when you're listening to something. Even when you're reading, surprisingly enough, it's very easy to go into this state. And so, this is the place that you can be in when you are choosing to learn quickly and easily. Because this is the learning zone. And all you need to do each time, and you can open your fingers now, and just remain in that place. All that you need to do each time that you want to begin to learn is you put yourself into a relaxed place. Perhaps take a couple of deep breaths just to get yourself into a nice place and then press your fingers together. Do that now. And just notice what happens to your awareness. Notice the softening of your awareness. Notice how your body becomes relaxed. Notice how your mind quietens down. And notice how your awareness widens. Aware of everything, focused on nothing. And that's nice. And so, you can open your fingers now. And so this is the system that you will use in the future every time that you want to study. And of course, you'll only use this system when it's safe and when you are in a comfortable place. But it's fine to use it even in a classroom situation. It's fine to use it anywhere where you want to learn. And don't worry if people think that you look a bit spaced out. Look around at any classroom and look at the people there. Most people are fairly spaced out because most people are going into that learning zone just as you are going into that learning zone and you will go into that learning zone finding it easier and easier to learn finding that your retention increases that your memory gets better and better because you're learning at an unconscious level and so it's much easier for you to recall in fact you'll find that words will come from places you don't even know your mind will present you with ways of saying things. Your mind will present you with vocabulary that you didn't know that you knew. And that's great. And that's what this is about. So use this tool as often as you can. In the next audio, we're going to reinforce this and give you some really positive suggestions. So we'll see you in the next audio. In fact, we'll hear you in the next audio. Or you will hear me. Bye for now.